Terry Carr. Terry Jean Carr, February 19, 1937, April 7, 1987, was an American science fiction fan, author, editor, and writing instructor. Background and discovery of fandom. Carr was born in Gretz Pass, Oregon. He attended the City College of San Francisco and the University of California at Berkeley from 1954 to 1959. Carr discovered science fiction fandom in 1949, where he became an enthusiastic publisher of fanzines, which later helped open his way into the commercial publishing world. He was one of the two fans responsible for the Hawks fan Carl Brandon, after whom the Carl Brandon Society takes its name. Despite a long career as a science fiction professional, he continued to participate as a fan until his death. He was nominated five times for Hugo's for Best Fancy 1959, 1961, 1967, 1968, winning in 1959, was nominated three times for Best Fan Writer 1971, 1973, winning in 1973, and was Fan Guest of Honor at Khan Federation in 1986. Professional work Though he published some fiction in the early 1960s, Carr concentrated on editing. He first worked at Ace Books, establishing the Ace Science Fiction special series which published, among other novels, Behold the Man in the Warlord of the Air by Michael Mokark, The Left Hand of Darkness by Esther Kelvin, Ligon and Rite of Passage by Alexei Panshin. After conflicts with Ace Head Donald at Wolheim, he worked as a freelancer. He edited an original story anthology series called Universe, and a popular series of the best science fiction of the year anthologies that ran from 1972 until his death in 1987. He also edited numerous one-off anthologies over the same time span. He was nominated for the Hugo for Best Editor 13 times 1973, 1975, 1977, 1979, 1981, 1987, winning twice 1985 and 1987. His win in 1985 was the first time a freelance editor had won. Terry Carr commissioned a first novel from William Gibson for the second series of A science fiction specials shortly after the Denver World Con, 1981. The purpose of the series was to give attention to first-time novelists. Gibson's fellow A Special's first-timers were Kim Stanley Robinson, Michael Swanwick, Lucia Shepard, Carter Scholes, and Howard Waldrop. William Gibson mentions Carr in the introduction to the 20th anniversary edition of the book, having been talked into signing a contract by the late Terry Carr, without whom there would certainly be no neuromancer. Carr taught at the Clarion Workshop at Michigan State University in 1978, where his students included Richard Cadre and Pat Murphy. Personal Life Carr married a fellow science fiction fan, Miriam Ditches, in 1959. They were divorced in 1961. Later that year, Carr married Carol Stewart. He remained married to her until his death. Under her married name of Carol Carr, his widow has also sold science fiction, You Think You've Got Troubles, 1969, Inside 1970, Summer Born Cats, 1973, with Terry Carr, Wally Adieu, 1973, and Tooth Fairy, 1984. There. On April 7, 1987, Carr died of congestive heart failure. A memorial gathering of the science fiction community was held in Tilden Park in Berkeley, California on May 30. An original anthology of science fiction, Terry's Universe, was published the following year. All proceeds went to his widow. His papers and his large collection of Vandine's 71 linear feet and almost 2,000 titles have become part of the Eaton Collection of Science Fiction at the University of California, Riverside. Novels Wallard of Core 1963 Invasion from 2500 1964, with Ted White using the joint pseudonym Norman Edwards Cirque 1977. Collection. The Incomplete Terry Carr 1972 1988 The Light at the End of the Universe 1976 Fandom Harvest 1986. World's Best Science Fiction. World's Best Science Fiction World's Best Science Fiction 1965 1965 with Donald at Will I'm World's Best Science Fiction 1966 1966 with Donald at Will I'm World's Best Science Fiction 1967 1967 with Donald at Will I'm World's Best Science Fiction 1968 1968 with Donald at Will I'm World's Best Science Fiction 1969 1969 with Donald at Will I'm World's Best Science Fiction 1970 1970 with Donald at Will I'm World's Best Science Fiction 1971 1971 with Donald at Will I'm the best science fiction of the year. The best science fiction of the year, the best science fiction of the year, 1972, the best science fiction of the year, has 1973, the best science fiction of the year, has 1974, the best science fiction of the year, has 4, 1975, the best science fiction of the year, has 5, 1976, the best science fiction of the year, has 6, 1977, the best science fiction of the year, has 7, 1978, the best science fiction of the year, has 1979, the best science fiction of the year, has 9, 1980, the best science fiction of the year, has 10, 1980, when the best science fiction of the year, has 11, 1982, the best science fiction of the 
the year has found 1983 the best science fiction of the year has studied 1984 Terry Cobb's best science fiction of the year 1985 Terry Cobb's best science fiction of the year has shrieking 1986 Terry Cobb's best science fiction and fantasy of the year has 16 1987 Universe Anthology Series Universe 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 1 1971 Universe 2 1972 Universe 3 1973 Universe 4 1974 Universe 5 1975 Universe 6 1976 Universe 7 1977 Universe 8 1978 Universe 9 1979 Universe 10 1980 Universe 11 1981 Universe 12 1982 Universe 30 1983 Universe 40 1984 Universe 50 1985 Universe 60 1986 Universe 70 1987 Other Anthologies New Worlds of Fantasy 1967 New Worlds of Fantasy Hash 2 1970 New Worlds of Fantasy Hash 3 1971 Year's Finest Fantasy 1978 Year's Finest Fantasy 2 July 1979 Fantasy Annual Roman 3 May 1981 Fantasy Annual Roman 4 November 1981 Fantasy Annual V November 1982 Science Fiction for People Who Take Science Fiction 1966 The Others 1969 On Our Way to the Future 1970 The Side of Infinity 1972 Into the Unknown 1973 An Exaltation of Stars 1973 Fellowship of the Stars 1974, Wells Near and Far 1974, Creatures from Beyond 1975, Planets of Wonder 1976, The Ideas of Tomorrow 1976, The Infinite Arena 1977, To Follow a Star 9 Science Fiction Stories About Christmas 1977, Ask Science Fiction The First Golden Age 1978, Beyond Reality 1979, Dreams Edge 1980, Treasury of Modern Fantasy 1981 with Modern Edge, Greenberg 100, Great Fantasy Short Short Stories 1984 with Ask Asimov and Martin H. Greenberg, 